Netflix is constantly looking to have a next big hit on their hand, and they figured throwing Millie Bobby Brown into a fantasy movie was going to make them a lot of money, but I highly doubt it, given that Damsel, a new movie that's supposed to directly compete with things like Game of Thrones, has released to very middling reviews. I have a couple of things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, fantasy, of course, is one of my favorite genres, and I watch a lot of it, and I was very skeptical going into Damsel, but I hoped it would be a few hours worth of at least half-decent entertainment, but wow was I shocked to see that it was complete and utter feminist crap. I don't think we could really be surprised by the name Damsel, by the fact that they have Millie Bobby Brown, in my opinion, one of the most insufferable actresses in Hollywood currently starring in this, but it appears that users are not very happy with it judging by its very mediocre reviews. Now, of course, this movie, this, just the title alone, you can tell that it it's called Damsel, that it's going to be a girl boss film, right, where she is the strong, independent woman who doesn't need any help from anybody else, and this movie is one where she is sacrificed by the man she is supposed to love and trust in order to save a group of people who are garbage human beings who put themselves and greed above the existence of other beings, and she's the only one who is given, in this case, a poor little dragon a chance to change its ways. Instead of killing humans just because they're humans, she convinces this dragon that not all humans are bad and that she and some other people out there are different. So the the dragon needs to take its anger out on the humans that treated it poorly, not everybody else, okay? She didn't need anyone else to help her out of the situation, though. And obviously, the power of love strengthens her when she watches her father die. And to save her sister, she faces the dragon heroically. It, I mean, it is such a bad movie. Everything in this film was terrible. The writing was awful. I'm sorry, but most of the actors that they got did not compliment Millie Bobby Brown. In my opinion, Millie Bobby Brown is kind of a plank. She's really not that good of an actress, and the only reason why Hollywood, and specifically Netflix, has propped her up over the years is because of the success of Stranger Things, and once that show is finally done, they're going to probably drop her like a rock. I mean, she's pretty, don't get me wrong, but she's definitely not a fantastic actress. And then you have all of the horrible accents in the movie from actors who clearly did not have dialect coaches. There was also terrible choreography throughout this entire movie. It's like they did not want to hire a stunt double, and Millie Bobby Brown didn't want to do a lot of crazy stunts, so they just ended up with a lot of dud, even though the action scenes are the entire second half of this movie. And again, it centers around this girl, boss, women are subjugated, feminist crap. It just is not good. And it is just a poorly written fantasy overall. I mean, who the hell thought that this was a good idea? If you want to watch a movie about someone befriending a dragon, go watch How to Train Your Dragon. Or if you want to watch a more mature fantasy with a dragon, go watch Dragon Slayer or, of course, Game of Thrones. There are several shots in this that are completely copies of Lord of the Rings or of Game of Thrones, most notably in season eight of Game of Thrones when Daenerys is in King's Landing, she's taken King's Landing, she's walking down the stairs and Drogon and the dragon wings are behind her. They copy that shot two separate times in this movie and it's very clear that I'm not the only person who did not like this movie. There are a lot of people who actually thought that it was an okay time burner that like, uh, it wasn't the worst, but also it's not a movie that you pay a lot of attention to. I honestly had to put it on two times speed to even get through it or else I wouldn't have suffered through the, the whole entire thing. Um, but it's currently sitting at a 6.3, but this IMDB rating has definitely been going down. And as you can see, most of the scores are sitting around a five to six to seven 
But there are a lot of people who are saying it is just an okay movie and many people who are saying it's not a good film at all whatsoever. I highly recommend you save your time. You save your sanity and you don't waste your time watching this. Again, How to Train Your Dragon, Dragon Slayer, first couple of seasons of Game of Thrones are far superior and it's su such a shame, right? Because they clearly did put quite a bit of money into this thinking that with the cast and some of the decent looking CGI and the fact that it's fantasy, they thought it was going to skyrocket in popularity, but it's like if they took Game of Thrones... The Chronicles of Narnia shoved them together, but put a girl boss message in it, and they thought that that was going to sell. I mean, I thought that this was going to be mediocre, but I didn't expect it to be this bad. Save your time, save your energy. I would personally not give this a watch if I was you. It was just not a good film overall, and it will be interesting to see if they try to make a spin-off of this, if they try to make a TV show, or if they try to make a second movie. There are some rumors circulating right now that that is their plan and that they were really hoping that this was going to be the next Witcher for them, but judging by these scores, and how little people actually enjoyed it, I highly doubt that's going to happen at this point. But that's all that I had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.